Ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap Boxing Podcast, your main event of the evening. Hey guys, this is Coach Derek. I want to give a shout out to our new sponsor, Pueblo Boxing. Y'all be sure to check out uh, Pueblo Boxing. They have unique and high quality boxing gear and novelty gifts. You can find the gear at soloboxing.com. That's S-O-L-O boxing.com. Check it out, man. They do quality work. Guys, one thing we know for sure about Wilder, you know, yeah, yeah, he hit you clean. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and, and. This woman whooped the whole world twice. What's going on, YouTube, Facebook? It's another wonderful Saturday morning with the Soapboxing Podcast. It's your boy, Manny Fresh, along with Coach Derek Collinsworth. What's going on, people? We got a, uh, we got one of these uh, local killers on here, man. Gabe Smith, what's going on, bro? Man, what's the word? What's the word? Appreciate y'all for having me, man. Slick Smith, what's the dang deal? Yes, sir. You was, up, uh, you was training this morning or what? Nah, I had one on the little light dog. Oh, okay, okay. So you got this fight coming up in, 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 in Indianapolis, right? Indianapolis? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Indianapolis, April, uh, April 2nd. April, April 2nd. 2nd. You, know, you know who you're fighting and all that or what? Uh, they they uh they gotta send me like uh, a few people. I don't I don't really know yet. So we trying to see now. You're still wait, in the on Still in the picking phase, huh? Uh, <laughs> is uh, it gonna be? Is it gonna be broadcast? Uh, I there... think so. I think it's gonna be broadcast. I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm not sure for not. I'm not sure. Like a lot of people asked me, but uh, somebody told me that it's gonna be broadcast. So when they told me that, I thought that everybody was gonna be broadcast. Yeah, that's what. Let, yeah, us, let us know. We'll post the link. Let the world see. All right, for sure. They, uh, it's too easy now. Somebody's gonna be, somebody's gonna be live filming something, man. <laughs> so uh, this was happening, man. I tell you, bro, that's how that's how the game. The game is yeah. new, man. Ain't ain't nobody, uh, ain't nobody a veteran, man. I, yeah, I've been I've been in the game so fucking long, and I still don't know shit, man. This yeah. motherfucker keep nah. changing up on me, bro. That, <laughs> nah, it, it's, real. It, it's wild, mm-hmm. man. But I enjoy it, so. You still got to be able to fight, though. So yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. We'll be yeah. all right. <laughs> we'll be all right as long as you got to be able to fight. Where you I at, did. Gabe? What, what gym you at over there, man? I'm over there. At, uh, we up, we up boxing gym. You know, we uh, we build it, we build with it. With Tory, yeah, yeah. With Coach Tory, Coach Tory, uh, Ray, you know, Ray Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's that's the gym I'm at. We up boxing gym. That's a that's yeah, a new gym, so- right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gym, gym just opened last year, like November, around November. Yeah, yeah. I remember uh, Ray uh, was posting about that. Mm-hmm. Tell yeah. Tory, man. Tell Tory, I need to get him on here, man. I ain't get. I, I need some coaches on here, man. I, Bet I got you. I, I'm gonna tell him soon. We get out. Soon we get out. I'm here. Yeah, man. quick bullshit, man. I need some coaches <laughs> on the show, man. <laughs> Time to talk until you fight, motherfuckers, man. We gotta get some coaches on here. Get some perspective. Yeah, what up? So, so, so. Uh, yeah, man, they, y'all was with uh, GNM, right? And, and, and yeah, told yeah. Them when, uh, y'all went over yeah. to another spot. Uh, I got yeah, you. was over there at GNM. They, uh, went over there. And, and, yeah. <laughs> what side of the town y'all on? We right there off uh, Southwest, right there off uh, Fondren and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Harwin. Oh, shit, that ain't that far from me. <laughs> I know, yeah, y'all closer now. 
Y'all closer to the West now. Mm -hmm. yeah. That uh, I need to get over there, man, and get some sparring or something, bro. I got some. I got a few fighters, man. Let's get over there and do some work. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, man. Uh, hey, be before before we jump uh, before we jump into the show, man, I want to give a quick shout out to all the girls that fought last weekend, man, on that uh, all women's uh, show on that fight. Uh, what was it fight? Hey, bro. Uh, fight what? I'm fight. tired of I'm tired of these motherfuckers disrespecting the gals, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gals out. can fight, man. Hey, hey, man to, nah, uh, for real, for real, for shout, real. Shout out hey, to bro. Clarissa Shields. Shout out to Marlene Esparza. Uh, shout out to. Uh, to uh, uh, <laughs> let me tell you, bro. Let me tell you how sucker motherfuckers is, man. So, so people talk Daniel about Perkins. the quote, people talk about the quote, and they say, Man, she ain't trying to stop. Man, Clarissa came out there chunking them fucking bounds, bro, from the from from round one, and I, she tried to mix it up. And and and, and the girl, uh, the French girl, she was fighting, man, she was tough. She yeah. was getting hit and fighting back and shit. I'm like, man, this is good shit. And and I'll be there 30 seconds after the fight, man. Uh, oh, that's why nobody don't know. But man, y'all shut your pussy ass up, bro. I, I can't stand that shit, bro. Hey, hey for real. This, <laughs> this woman, man. This woman, bro. And I and I know I know people get tired of hearing it, bro. But here's the thing, man. I was born into this boxing, man. So from every fucking level of this game. This girl has dominated, bro. Dominated, man. I'm mm -hmm. talking about, I'm talking about amateur boxing on yeah, the world on level. Second. I'll be right back. Be right back. On the world level, she's fucking just just mashing everything going, and then you gotta hear some some suckers. Oh man, I I can't stand watching this here, man. Them them <laughs> girls, it ain't the same, man. I'm like, what the fuck is? What are they? No, what are they? No. I thought I thought the show was great. It was great for women's boxing. Uh, all of them, all of them shined. It was, it was, it was great to watch, man. I sat down, had a beer, watched the fight. Hey, and Marlene, like, let me say this about Marlene too, man. Marlene started off hot again, like I was worried that last time, but she settled right in, mm -hmm. right after that first round, and went to class in that girl, man. And that girl was tough. She was fighting, man. So, and shout out, shout out Danielle, man, man Silver, yeah, perfect, WBC perfect, yeah. Silver heavyweight. Heavyweight champ of the world now, bro. And so, mm -hmm. man, I, I just ain't got no patience for that shit. And, and I didn't know, I ain't never seen the chick. What's the black chick the, from Detroit? The one that she, she was fought? In, yeah, she oh. fought at the mall in the second fight. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know. She's bad, bro. She can fight. I was like, man, who is this? Because that's she was, I, I believe she was a, a, a bantamweight like Marlene, I think. I'm like, oh, that's the future right there, class right there, man. I'm like, this is gonna be a that that's a class fight, Marlene and that chick. And I I just have a bad memory, but because I would say her name, but mm. man, I liked it, man. I liked it, man. And and it's just even a, even in a mainstream, which it ain't really mainstream boxing media, because the boxing media is just like us, you know. Even just just because you write for whoever. You still just uploading your shit and shit, man. And and, and everybody, bro, just it's, yeah. it's it's like it's like me, gay. Motherfuckers either like me or hate me. Ain't no in between, right? Well, with boxing, yeah. with women's boxing, that's, that's how it is, true. man. They just they either like it or hate yeah. it, but it's never when they hate it, it's never mm -hmm. it's never no like cause they class boxes. So you do you hate boxing? What's your thing? Yeah. Do you hate boxing or you just hate women, yeah. man? That's that's what drives me crazy with that shit, man. That fucking woman in, in 11 fights done pulled off as, as, as much as any boxer yeah, ever. Yeah, credit. Yeah, man, that's whole shit to me, bro. He said, he said you hate boxing that's my or you hate women? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't get it, oh, man. Uh, I, love, uh, I love women and I love boxing. What the fuck about, is the... Uh, uh, what's to be mad about? You talking about Jamie Mitchell? Uh, Jamie Mitchell, that's the one that fought right, uh, right before. Or man, right after, most uh, of them, Marlene. most of them girls beat some some guys, man, for sure. And I know the quote be beating dudes up. I know she beating dudes up. I can just yeah, see for sure, for sure. <laughs> for sure that, for sure that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I enjoyed that show, man. I and I bought it. You know what I'm saying? I bought it. I support. Yeah, I bought it too. Uh, 
and, and went live so people could watch it. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to spread the word. Uh, but but damn, it, it's like it's like man, I, I ain't gonna try. To, I ain't gonna waste my time convincing somebody who ain't just being uh, telling the truth for why they don't like it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. It, it ain't. It yeah. ain't. You can't like boxing. You can't like boxing if you can't appreciate what Clarissa Shields do in the ring. Yeah. How you a boxing yeah. fan, man? How you a boxing fan, bro? And, and, and mm-hmm. what the fuck is wrong mm-hmm. with you, man? That's just how I feel about it, man. Mm-hmm. That's just crazy. So, so yeah, bravo for fun, them bro. girls, That's man. Right. Yeah, they put it down. They put it down, <laughs> man. Uh, how you I, how you got started, gay boxing? How old were you? Where you went? I started. Hold uh, on, uh, young. I was uh I was uh I was nine years old when I had my first fight. Um, I was at Savannah Boxing Gym and uh my dad mm-hmm. he brought me to Savannah Boxing Gym because I was uh I, I was fighting a lot in, in the in the apartments, and then I guess uh, he seen there was a boxing gym like right across the street from the apartments, so he walked me into the boxing gym and he walked me to the boxing gym. That's when I met uh Kevin Charlo and uh Highland Williams Senior, and then uh. Okay. That's how I started, man. I was with them. I was with them every day, you know. I was with I was with uh them uh, Highland Junior, Highland Williams Junior. I was with twins. I was uh spending nights at their house. We was going tournaments. We was ringside. We was everywhere. So that's how I got into it, man. Okay, okay. Uh, you said nine years old? Yeah, I was nine. My first fight. I, my first fight was actually at ringside in Kansas. Oh, oh you would have been off a whole lot. You would have yeah, yeah. <laughs> dove yeah. off into it. My first, yeah, my first fight, uh, it was it was it was, it was Mr. Savannah. He put me in the ring side of my first fight, man. I remember. <laughs> man, a lot of uh, you, you can't talk you can't talk Houston boxing without talking Savannah boxing gym, Mr. Savannah. Man, and facts, it, it was, man. It's a huge, it's facts. a huge loss. Huge loss to the Houston community and the Houston boxing community as well. But how was it, man? How was it, you know? Growing up in that gym and, and, and working with Mr. Savannah, at, at, you know, at nine years old, I'm sure you don't realize, you know, the opportunity that you have in, in front of you. But, yeah, I mean, why don't you share your experience, uh, you know, training with him and, and, and working out in that gym? Man, it was uh, when I first went, you know, I was uh, I, I, I wasn't really into it. And my uh, my dad, he just put me in and then. And then uh, I started, I started uh, sparring, and then sparring was okay, you know. So I started liking, and and, uh, and Mr. Savannah, he always, he always told everybody, man, um, basic fundamentals of jabs and a one two. That's that's as much as you hear them say the most. Jab, jab, one two, one two, one two. So, so when I got in the gym, that's all. Most mostly, uh, mostly uh, Kevin Charlo and um, Holly Williams Senior taught us, you know, jabs and one twos. You know what I'm saying? So they they'll have us on the bag, a thousand jabs. After that, one twos. We gotta do a thousand one twos. That's that's basically what they what they train us to do. Jabs and one twos. Jabs and one twos. That's what's gonna win a fight. Hmm. Fundamental. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that that uh, uh, I told man and man for his first fight, he said, uh, "Man, I can see a little nervous energy, like everybody gets." I say, "Look, man, throw one." Oh, two. <laughs> finish with the one. Look, look what I said, G. I said, throw the, and he gonna tell you if I'm lying, man. I said, throw yeah. the one, throw the two, finish with the one to keep him out there. And if I tell you yeah. go the other way, go the other way, and that's how we gonna win. Yeah. He looked at me. Look, he looked at me. I said, <laughs> I think I repeated it. I said, listen, man. This is, and that's how we gonna win. This motherfucker got in that ring. That first few suckers, you know, he got that nervous energy out. He got on that one, two. <laughs> Finish with the one. <laughs> Go the other way. He went the other way. Unanimous decision. I said, man, if people don't understand yeah. it's a right way to fight and a wrong way to fight. Yeah. And a lot of times, yes, gifted gifted athlete, athlete people be their biggest uh, vulnerability because they – they gifted athletically, so they get away from the fundamental. Yeah. And then they get in there with a guy who's fundamental. Mm-hmm. They're like, man, this motherfucker can't beat me. How is he yeah. beating? But he just sticking to that yeah. regular old shit, uh-huh. man. I'm keeping this motherfucker out here because if I try to man. Yeah. if I try to keep up with him as an yeah. athlete, he's gonna whoop my ass. I gotta stay on this one too. Yeah, yeah. man. It's that's genius. Yeah. It's genius. It's it the simplicity is genius, ain't it? 
but it worked. Look at look at the San Antonio Spurs, man. They're probably the most boring basketball team of NBA, hey. but, but they stick to them fundamentals and they're one. Of the I love great. that motherfucker. See, I yeah. I watched the uh, I watched the uh, uh, goddamn the Spurs, man. The Spurs, huh? No, the guy. What's the, the the big fundamentals? What's his name? I forgot. Uh, Duncan Tim Duncan. Robinson. Duncan. I used to watch that Duncan, but I watch him like a boxing trainer, yeah. right? And I say, I say, man, and people would come up and say, man, this Duncan, man. I say, look, Duncan about to get in your ass, man. Why? So Fundamental. Yeah. He about the funny about the you. He about to use that square when y'all shooting yeah. at the fucking neck. He about to use yeah. that square. Stick that sure. box y'all. I say, I fucks with him heavy, heavy. I fucks with him, man. Yeah, Duncan, he's he's Duncan's the he. Straight fundamentals. Yep. He's the Bernard Hopkins of the NBA, man. I was fucking with that forever, man. Hey, for I hated to see him go. That's a good. That's a good, uh, that's a good uh, what's the word? That's a good what? Ah, oh, fuck. Metaphor. That's that's that's. I'm cool. Hey, bro. Yeah. Fundamentals, bro, is the key to everything, man. Now, if you could bring some pretty and add it to your fundamentals, yeah. then you get yeah. Then you get the Floyd Mayweather's and shit because. Floyd Mayweather got that ability, but fuck around and punch him in the nose real hard. Watch how, watch how quick he go to catching and 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 shooting straight shots and all that shit, man. Fundamentals is what's happening. Somebody must have called him, huh? Uh, probably. Slick Smith. When you get when you get off the phone, just get out the app and then come right back in. What else we got going on while we wait for uh, for Gabriel to get back? Hey, man, did you fucking hear that Julio Cesar Chavez is fucking fighting Hector Camacho Jr. on June 19th? Unfucking believable. Yeah, that's real? Yeah. They're doing, uh, they're, doing, they're doing a show where all three of the uh, uh, Chavez's are fighting. Uh, senior, Junior, and Omar in Jalisco, Guadalajara, in Mexico. Nah, that would be fun. In a battle between Mexico and Puerto Rico, Chamaco will look to get even from the historic bout of Chavez had with the Camacho's legacy in 1992. 1992. How many years is that? We're in 2021, 92. That's fucking 30 years ago. That's what, that's how long uh, Camacho uh, Chavez was? 92. <laughs> <laughs> I was a fucking I was a sophomore in high school. Yeah, yeah. Same grade, bro. Sophomore. That's unfucking believable. Here we go. Yeah, hello. Yeah, if y'all turn that block, if y'all block them calls, bro, they gonna knock yeah, you off every time. Yeah, I, I, I had tried to end it, but I pushed uh, Anson. Hey, Joe, Joe, Joe. What up, Joe? Uh, from next fight up, Joe says Hector might be fighting trouble after that. He's trying to trying to come back. Hey, listen, Joe. Uh, so y'all gonna make that happen? Not, I don't think. I think. I think. Uh, I think Senior's gonna end his career. I think that's gonna be a very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I think, oh jeez! Hey, that's, that's, that's a that's a very dangerous fight. Uh, Chavez uh, Senior is gonna be fighting Hector uh, Camacho uh, Junior. Dangerous fight. Junior. Dangerous how? <laughs> yeah, it's it's hey Joe. Joe, uh, I remember y'all was trying to get that uh, like a year ago, two years ago, and I don't know. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit, uh, I'm gonna hit Junior up, man, and and, and ask him about it. But uh, he yeah. uh, he's supposed to be, he been working out, supposed to be yeah. getting in shape, bro. So uh, that fight must could happen, man. That's a good deal, man. I like to see uh, him in trouble, man. I think that'll be uh, that'll be nice, man. Especially if y'all do it here. Yeah. Shit. Shout out to Hector, man. He's a he's a, he's a friend of the show. No disrespect whatsoever. Uh, nah, nah, I fuck, you know that's a Muslim brother of mine too. So I got the roof on. I don't but, care if he. Oh, yeah. shit, you're gonna roof. <laughs> <laughs> he can fuck. I, I got a roof for the brother, man. Uh, uh, hey, get, uh, yeah. uh, well, welcome back, Gabe. Hey, you put your uh, put your phone on uh, if if you can on it. What is it, uh, Derek? No notifications or oh that do do not disturb man because if they call in it's gonna block your camera. Okay. So, so you know what? it's gonna block your video. So yeah. I put the airplane mode on. No 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 no. The do not disturb. 
Do not disturb. Just the ring off, you know, the do not disturb. Oh. I don't okay. know what the airplane mode do. Okay. All right. Let's turn the ring off. All right, bet I got it. That's that. I thought there was a do not disturb button. And we need to I we need to do a better job of letting the guests know before uh, we go live to do that. Man, I can't do everything, bro. Oh, Shit, I, you know, I can't really <laughs> I carry the fucking show, man. At least you can do a carry the structures, man. October. October at Skeeters. Here in Sugarland? Oh, snap. Skeeters, right? The oh, Skeeters, that's nice. Uh, the Skeeters, uh, the basketball team. I mean, the baseball team here in Sugarland. Tell Joe, the 140 pound champ wants to, wants to fight on that show, man. We need a defense on that show. That's the next show? That's the next, next fight up show? October? Right. It looks like, uh, look like they're trying to get that uh, trouble fight. Uh, trouble and Hector Camacho Jr. on that one. Oh, okay, okay. Then, then he fought. Hey, he fought fight him already, didn't he? Uh, I was supposed to be happy. No, they were supposed to. Yeah, they supposed to happen. Yeah, they were supposed to, and it didn't happen. Okay, they were putting okay. the flyers out and shit, and it didn't happen. Yeah. Oh, okay. But okay. I think, I think Junior's like in Florida now, though. Like he was, he had been where he been in like uh, Puerto, Rico, not Puerto Rico, where he had been. The Dominican. He was living. He was in an yeah. island somewhere. Yeah, living in Dominican or something, but but I think he's in the States now. So that might be uh more feasible now, man. And I didn't make the first baseball show. Y'all was out there? Gabe, you ain't fight on that show. Right? It, was, it was cold. No, that no, night. I did. Yeah, I I ain't fight on that show. I didn't make it out there either. I heard it was live. It was chilly, but you know, I like the cold. But they said uh they say it was nice, man. So I'm I'll make sure I get out to this next one, man. Hey Gabriel, growing up, man, you, you know, you mentioned that you um, that you you started boxing at the age nineteen. You were fighting around in at, at, at the you know in the complex. Your dad took you to the gym. At what point did you at what point did you start paying attention to boxing as far as the professional boxers? And who was it? Who was someone that you looked at and said, you know what, I like their style, or or someone you enjoyed watching? Uh. So you said, like, mean like, 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 like my favorite okay. fighter? Uh, yeah, like pro fighter. Influence, I guess. Influence. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, let me start saying, uh, well, Sugar Lynn is my favorite fighter. You know, ever since, uh, like ever since I got into boxing, yeah, ever since I got into boxing, uh, I mean, that guy just, I just watched that guy. You know, what I mean, it just the speed, the foot, the feet, you know, and just, it was just, it was just, it just touched. You know, so that that's been my favorite fighter ever since I started. Uh, Boxing, but uh, uh, when I uh, when I uh, wait, yeah, yeah. So, so when I got into boxing, what made? I got another call, man. Right? <laughs> you can hear me, man. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, it might cut off too. What'd he say, Ray Leonard? Yeah, he said Ray Leonard. <clears throat> what else we got going on here in boxing news? That's a bad motherfucker, man. While we wait for uh, for Gabriel Smith. Slick, same deal. If uh, if you can get out and then come back in. What's going down? Tonight, man. Tonight is uh, Mike Angeletti. <clears throat> That's right. Uh, he's opening up on that Benavidez fight, and uh, yeah. Ammo Williams. He's fighting on a uh, on a McCaskill Cecilia Breakers undercard with a uh, Chocolate Tito. I think is the main event. Oh, You're back, bro. Yeah, yeah so it's it's like, it was no call, man. My energy just said it went out. I don't know why it went out. Oh. Uh. Yeah, you gotta pay the bill, yeah. bro. And yeah. you, you can't let the bill pay. Man, I'm gonna say this. Man. I'm like, hold on, ain't nobody even call me. Man. I'm like, man, yeah. yeah. All right, man. All right so oh, we man. had you on, on, on Ray Leonard. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's my favorite fighter, you know. So, uh, what made me get serious is, uh, uh, my parents had when I was started when I got like 13, 14, my parents had moved, and then I was, I remember, I remember this. I was driving down, uh, Bel Air, and then I seen, uh, and I haven't seen the twins or, or, or Highland for a long time. Mm. So I was driving down Bel Air, you know, and then uh I seen I seen Lil he was he was driving a uh he was driving a new car. It was like the same year that 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 the um, year was. So I'm like, I followed the one, I'm like, hello man, pull over, bro, pull over. So you know, I chopped it up with him. He's like, yeah, man, I'm 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 pro. I'm I'm like, what? 
He said, yeah. man, I'm pro. I'm like, man, for real. Like, man, Savannah Gym right here. This one they moved. They moved like right up the street. Right. right. It's, right it's right there on like Bell Up. So I was like, uh, man, take me to the gym. Take me to the gym. So when he took me to the gym, I see Mr. Man and, and I was just like, and so, so everybody started going pro. I'm like, man, hold on, I need to get back in this. <laughs> no, I'm like, hold on, I, I need to get back in this. Cause you know, when they had the little cars, you know, that was everybody was still in their teens, you know, yeah. and everybody had everybody had cars, you know, and then where I was staying there, everybody was like selling drugs, they was they ain't had no cars, you know, they was just outside riding bikes, they're stugging, you know. And then when I seen him, when I seen him in the car, I'm like, hold on, man, I may, I may need to, I think I might need to get back in the gym, hmm. you know. So, <laughs> yeah. so that's how, I, that, that's how, that's how I got back in the gym. You know what I'm saying? So I got back in the gym and I uh, was training in Savannah, and uh, I was supposed to turn pro with with Savannah, but uh, I forgot something happened. You know, something happened. I think I got back in the streets, you know, and then uh, I got back in the streets, man, and I and then I I got off of uh, track. Then uh, I found another gym was G and M. That's when I went mm. to G, and then that's when I went to G and M. And I went to G and I, I got back with my uh, with my with my old coach was uh, was Sid. I got back with Sid, and he was like, "Man, look, man, stay in the gym. I can get you to turn pro. We can make some money to do. You know what I'm saying, stay out the street." So when I got in the G and M, that's what we, that's what happened. That's what we did. And that was what back in 2015. Yep, 2015, 2015. That's when I turned pro. Man, you went, a, you, went a, you went on a hot streak, you know, what was the first first seven fights undefeated, first mm-hmm. eight fights undefeated? Yep. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, getting them out the way, getting them out the way. Then I had, uh, I had, uh, I had took some time off because I had started working. You know, it's still, you know, when you coming up and you ain't signed, you know, you got to still work. Mm-hmm. You got to work and you got, cause I, you know, I got kids. I got, I got four kids. So, you know, I got, I had to work. So, uh, I was working at the, uh, at the rig. At the all red, you know, so yeah. it was a good, so so it was a good paying job, you know. So what, what were you was, doing there? You a hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was floor hand. I was man. floor hand. Yeah, I was a floor hand, that's, man. You know? That's some fucking work. That, that, yeah. that, that, hey. That's, that's, hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. Pay you work. Good. Like, hey, you gonna work, bro? And then you gonna out, work. There, out there, I was, I was working seven twelve, you know, mm. and I was working out there at Crosby. I was working at Crosby, so only time I had time off is when I called in. Mm. You know, and you barely, and you barely can call in. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's the only time I, I, I had off. So I was working out there, you know, and then I had, um, I had got a call, uh, I tell, um, Ms. Lynn called me to fight this guy in, uh, in, uh, in Austin, you know, and I, uh, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't training and, you know, I, I was out of shape. I was like, I believe I was like 142, you know, about 142, you know, I fight at 35, 30. So that fight was at like uh 140. So I was like, oh yeah, some extra money, you know, I do it. But then, you know, when you when you when you leave the job and you get back in the gym, you really start and you start training. Like at least all fighters, bro, when you get back in the gym, you you gonna believe that you can beat anybody, you know. Mm-hmm. But 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 the realistic, you know, the coaches know like, yeah, when you, the one or two rounds you'll do good, but after that you're gonna fade because you ain't been training. You know, so but when I got back in the gym, I was like, man, I'll take this fight. I'll beat this kid. You know, I'm, I'm watching. I'm like, man, I'll beat this kid easy. I don't need to be in shape, you know. Mm. And then it's my first time fighting at 142, so I never fought at 142, you know. So when I got down there, you know, I, I seen the guy waiting. I'm like, I'm going to beat this kid. You know, the first round, I felt him out, you know. But when I got back to the corner, you know, I, them not training, not training was uh kicked in, you know. And then, I, and then at first, um, my coach, he was like, nah, I don't take the fight, bro. You ain't ready for the fight. You know, he was like, I don't take the fight. You ain't ready for the fight. At this time, this, this one, uh, Holland Williams Sr., he had, he retired. So I had got with Coach Tour, and he was like, you ain't ready for that fight, you know? See, see, he one of them coaches that's like more than a coach, you know? Mm. He ain't, he, he, he if, if, if you ain't ready for the fight, he gonna, nah, I don't, don't take the fight. So I was like, man, I'm taking this fight. No matter what you say, I'm taking this fight, <coughs> you know? So I had went to Savannah. I left, I left, I was training, I was training in the morning at g then I left GM in the morning and afternoon. I went over there to Savannah to train with Miss Lynn and Ron Collins. Cause Miss Lynn was like, "Man, I'm uh, my, my husband gonna train you for the fight. Then if your train, if your coach wanna train you, my husband gonna train you for the fight." Mm. So, so he's like, "Man, you can beat this guy." You know what I'm she's, like, <laughs> she's, like, <laughs> she's like, "Man, you can beat this guy." You know what I'm saying? Shout out Ryan, man. That's my you know dude, Ryan. Man. So, so I was like, so I was like, "All right, man, let's let, let's get it." You know, so. 
we went, we went out there to Austin, you know, we fought, you know, he, uh, first time I've been dropped, you know, first time he, it's the first time he, he, he buzzed me, the first time he dropped me, he, he, he buzzed me, you know, mm. so, but I know, you know, I got the experience, you know, you can't get, can't get right up, you know what I mean, you can't get right up, so I took the knee, you know, and I, when I got dropped, you know, I started thinking in my head, I started thinking about everybody in Houston, you know, all the fighters, they know me, you know, all the fighters watching it, so I'm like, damn, you know, like, man, get your ass up, you know, and this shit, I started thinking like, Shit, well, shit, we here. Just get your ass in the fight, nigga. Get your ass in the fight. You know what I mean? So, okay. So, um, Joe said, Lynn said, I made this fight. It's so going through. I made this marriage. Head. It's going through. <laughs> hey, for real. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I got up, you know, and uh, he stopped me like I think it was like a seven round. You know what I mean? So she's talking uh, about she's talking about game fight or or, yeah. or the heck of yeah, yeah, yeah. fight. Oh, oh game yeah, fight. Yeah, oh, yeah. My fight. Talking about my fight. She, she she made the fight. So <laughs> yeah, your coach don't want to train. I got somebody. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Lynn is wild, so, bro. Yeah, so it's all good though, you know. And then uh, I took another loss. I had uh, but that but that's the one thing about boxing though, man. Boxing's always going to tell the truth. You yeah. can't uh, you can't boxing ain't one of those things where you can fake. Take no, a choice. No, you can lie to you. You can lie to you, but boxing. That fight ain't gonna lie to you. Not at all. I'm telling Bacchus, you, man. Hey, boxing's gonna, gonna keep it 100. Ropes, you get in between the ropes, some lights hit your face, man. Man, mm. ain't no climb out of there unless you want to just totally embarrass yourself. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no climb out of there. Uh, you you ain't uh, you ain't even got no ass, man. You wheezing in the motherfucker, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, bro? <laughs> got to be in shape. You got to be, uh, you got yeah. to be, man. Ain't no, I mean, I mean, shit. You just gotta stay focused, man. You just gotta stay focused with it, you know. Uh, I had got, <laughs> I got, I got, I got off track a little bit, you know. Now I took my second off, fought again, in uh, uh, Pennsylvania. You know, uh, mm -hmm. I was going through some hard times, man. You know what I mean? I was going, you know, you know, it's kind of hard. It's, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard out here, you know. If you ain't, if you ain't, if you ain't, you ain't got the support, you ain't got the 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 funds you know you gotta you gotta make a you know family first you know I remember I remember when I first when I when I first wanted to do it you know I was like man boxing for everything you know I was just like no working I'm I'm just gonna straight box but I tell guys now that's coming up like I'm gonna be honest with you bro you know if you ain't got no body behind you that's uh helping you out man you gotta you you gotta work to pay your bills unless you don't want to live you know what I mean unless you want to live in your car you gotta you gotta work I mean I mean boxing boxing is great man we all love it but you know family first you know what I mean hmm. so so that's kind of the reason why I was in and out of it a lot you know I was going through I was going through some stuff you know I was going through hard times you know what I'm saying so the two losses I got I took them fights for 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 the money really to be honest you know I ain't never tell people that they was like man you like nah man I ain't take for no money you know hmm. I can beat this kid woo woo you know what I'm saying I went to I went to Pennsylvania I fought a guy 17 to 2 but to be honest, man, to be honest, if I was in shape, none of them guys could beat me. And then and 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 that was at 140. You know, I don't even fight at 140, you know. I fight at 35. To me, for 140 too big for me. You know, 140 too big for me. So I fought them guys at 140. And if I was in shape, man, they couldn't do nothing with me. You know, it was just it was just I wasn't in shape to to uh to beat them guys, you know. And then Pennsylvania the fight went eight rounds. And when I got out the ring, everybody, everybody there was Everybody there that's from Pennsylvania was like, man, you beat this kid. You, you, I don't know why they, I don't know why they said you lost. Or, and they said um, the guy he, because after I fought the guy, he he proposed to his wife. You know, he called in the ring, proposed to his wife. So they said basically it was like a hose uh, set up, and, and then the it guy was one of those things where you had to go in there and knock his yeah, ass out to, to, yeah, to, to ensure out, yeah. you got you got the win. Otherwise, uh -huh, yeah, he was he was like the whole time him roll. It was it was the main event. You know, he was like the the, the big name of the city. So. <clears throat> And still, and still, it wasn't was it? It was an unanimous decision, right? It wasn't a mm -hmm. unanimous, or was it? A, yeah, yeah, it was an unanimous decision. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you still couldn't get it. Right? <laughs> yep. He said un unanimous. Unanimous. I think I I I speak I beat my that boy by unanimous decision. <laughs> <laughs> You speak oh, your English, shit. I speak mine. <laughs> Press, I love that shit. Press, I love that shit. Hey, bro, you seen that fight you won by unanimous? Unanimous. <laughs> oh, that's good right there. Uh, that uh, that, but Philly, man, you going to Pennsylvania, you got to know, bro. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. it's a well, you know what? A fighter needs a no going. Hell, even at home, he may be fighting another guy that's the favorite, but definitely going out of town, bro. Mm -hmm. if, if you're not if you're not in the kind of condition to yeah. to to stop it or make it a you know, make it a slaughter. You know, you gotta you gotta have that kind of uh mindset going anywhere to fight, you mm -hmm. know. Uh but you know, you live and you learn, but the 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 the, the key is learning, you know. Yeah, not putting yourself in that prediction uh predicament anymore, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. So what you what you is nine and two now, huh? Yeah, I'm nine and two and uh one draw. I got, got a draw on next fight. Who you got a draw with? Uh I think his name is Antonio. He 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 trained at next fight up. Wattel. Yeah, Wattel. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, we saw him. Yeah, I know and that. Look, and look, that's crazy, you know. That fight, I wasn't supposed to fight him. You know, I I, I came to the, I was fighting somebody else at 135. So when I showed to the weigh-ins, I was 135, and his guy didn't show up. So they came back. It's like, hey, man, you know, y'all sold tickets. I oh, mean, they told me, you know, you sold tickets. Do you want to fight with Quail? Well, at uh 140, I was like, well, well, he was like, man, you got to drink some water real quick. So I drunk some water, you know, got to like, I think like 138, and then we made the fight happen. <laughs> who told you that? Who told you that, man? <laughs> Tell me who told you. Bro, who told you that, man? Drink some water. Man, I... <laughs> <laughs> Man, they told oh, me to drink shit. some water, man. They told me to drink some water. What it's you mean you can't make that weight, man? Drink that water, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> put it here, that's man. Put this roll, man. Put this roll of nickels in your pocket, boy. No, what man. you talking uh, about, man? And that's how that's how that's how I end up fighting him, you know. That's how Shout I out, uh, Joe, look, Joe, Joe. Joe. <laughs> Hey, yeah, Joe's Joe, my dude. The Dutchman don't be bullshitting, hey, right? I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, right? the Dutchman. Dude, man. I, I like a uh, shout out to uh, Wattel, man. That's my dude, bro. I'll be seeing him when we go over there and spot uh, mm -hmm. at, at J Prince and shit, too. So uh, I like that kid, man. He's yeah. rugged, man. He comes to mm -hmm. fight regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. For sure. He gonna, yeah, for sure. For sure. He's going to come to fight for sure. But man, uh, well, but here, but here's the thing, though, man. You, you got off, you got off to a great start, and and you and you hit, you hit some 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 valleys or whatnot. But that's the beautiful thing about it, is man, it's your story to tell. You yeah. Know? Now you got this fight coming up in uh, April second in Indianapolis. Yeah. Now you got a fresh sheet of paper to to, to, yes, to write write whatever you want on this next chapter, and uh, yes, you sir. know those those two L's. That don't mean shit. Yeah, at all. Yeah, that yeah, don't yeah. mean shit. You know, it's yeah. it's how it's how you respond to it. Yeah, right. And like yeah. you said, like you said earlier, on any given day, them fights could have gone the other way. Yeah. They didn't beat you, and like Coach yeah. Coach D likes to say, you beat yourself. Yeah, right. That's exactly what. Happened. And so you know what you have to do. You know exactly yeah. what you have to do. You ain't you ain't yeah. green, and and and, and yeah. you, you know you know uh, you know how to finesse this. You yeah. know exactly what you gotta do. Hey, and if and if you ain't been running, she gonna say you've been walking. Long as you've been walking, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> hey. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Hey. hey. That you but hey, as long as you learn, bro, and figure yeah. it out, man. Uh you know, Wattel, like I said, Wattel's a tough customer and he yeah. got to Ah, fuck. Yeah. It's like Reed just said. He said, man, it don't be excuses, coach. It be just, you got to explain it to yourself what happened, you know? Mm -hmm. And I yeah. get that. Long as you don't make that, you know, long as you take responsibility for that, right? Mm -hmm. Long as you say, yeah, this is what happened, but and it was my fault. That, yeah. I think that's what's important for the well, fighters, think, rather, rather than it's, says the next guy. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. think it's very telling, right? You, you, you know, being honest with yourself. And uh, and understanding what your why is, right? So you went yeah. up, you know, you, you took those two other fights, and, and you were honest with yourself, right? Yeah. You know why you took them? Yeah. For the financial reasons, right? So yeah. You know that 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 a hundred percent motivates how you train and how you look yeah. at a fight. You know right. why 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 am I fighting this fight? You know. Yeah. And so now moving forward, that's a question you're gonna have to continue to ask yourself. Why why am I taking these fights? Yeah. Why and and you know you're going to show you you know the thing about it is 
you, you're at the end of the fight, the world's gonna know why why you took these yeah. fights. So so the Man. pressures are the pressures are on you. You know, Man. the burdens on you to do what you gotta do. And uh you obviously have the skill, you have the talent. Uh so now you guys just got to be committed to it as you have. Man, listen to, to your it. fucking coach, man. Listen to your fucking coach, yeah. man. The coach told you not to fucking do it. That's on you. And, and, and that's what I mean. You got to fucking, you got to say, all right, yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. You was right. So now I don't ever make that mistake no more. You know, it, it's, it's different ways to come to this game, bro, yeah. from every from every angle, man. Just because, you know, and, and I don't get caught up in the records, man. Now, don't get me wrong. You get knocked out every time you fight, get a job. Yeah. But if you, if you, if you, you know, nine and two, you make a a a, a, a misstep, you get stopped or, or you lose a decision. Well, now you get to see what you is, bro. Are you a yeah. fighter for real? Or, or, or you just want to, are you just, is you a fighter or you want to be known as a fighter? That's two different yeah. things. You see what I'm saying? A lot of yeah. guys, they, want, they, they like being called a boxer. Yeah, but they ain't really boxers, you know what I'm saying? So wow. you, if you if you learn from it, man, and make the adjustments, because we all know this whole thing is about adjustments, mm -hmm. adjustments on the die. You know, something. You know, you could catch a shot. You know, the biggest the biggest thing a fighter do is thinking he can't be stopped and shit, right? And yeah. you like, because the minute they get hurt, everything goes out the window. That's because it was predicated on bullshit. Any man yeah. thinks he can't get knocked out. Ain't very educated in a fist fight. You know what I'm saying? Anybody yeah. can get the business. Right. So, 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 you know, when 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 you swallow swallow those bitter pills, man, you could you could you could uh, grow. You could grow. Yeah. You become a better fighter. You you make them adjustments. Your trainer say, "Hey, man, you ain't in shape. I don't take this fight." Hey, that's 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 and and, and, and you said something earlier. Correct me if I'm wrong. You said uh, Tory. Yeah, he's more than a trainer. Yeah. Mm. Well, goddamn, listen to your own advice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You say he molded in the train. So if that kid said, hey, man, don't take this fight, bro. Hey, you got to not take this fight. And I, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm one of those guys, bro, with my, with, with, with my fighters, man, because my, I take the responsibility of protecting them very seriously. Very, yeah. very seriously, because I got to be able to sleep at night, right? Yeah. And I don't tell, and I don't tell nobody. In this in this world, I don't tell nobody I love them less than I love them, right? So if yeah. I tell them I love them, I'm loving you like you my fucking son, like you my daughter, you my yeah. kid. So, hey, nah, we ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? And and, and if you not if you not big enough to fucking accept that, well, maybe we need to part ways because I'm always protect you. That's what yeah. I'm gonna do right. because I don't want you going there. Uh, you know this this thing's hard enough than to go in there. Up against a, you know, with your back against the wall out the gate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you when you go to when you go to Philly, you down three rounds in a full round fight, regardless. Yeah. Because <laughs> you going you going somewhere yeah. that you in, in their backyard. Yeah, so true. your damn show got to be on your shit. Your damn yeah. show got to be at your correct weight. Your damn show got to be sharp. Your damn mm -hmm. show got to be conditioned. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, that's just how I look at things, man. So if as long as you make the missteps and you, and you learn from it, bro, you straight, man. Yeah. You just gotta keep that's fighting. Right. If you're a fighter, if you're a fighter, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's so who, the, uh, who you like? Uh, who you who you like watching right now in boxing, man? Who's some of your favorites? Uh, my favorite is uh, Terrence Crawford right now. That's you know, a bad I man. Watch, I watch, yeah, Terrence Crawford. You know, uh, that's a bad dude. You know, I, I watch Terrence Crawford a little bit, <clears throat> and uh, when I watch uh, uh, what's his name? What's his what do you think? Uh, what do you think of winning a in a, in a Terrence Crawford uh Spence matchup? Oh, Spence, man! Oh, really? Yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah. I think it's because Terrence be getting hurt a lot. You know, not been able to pay attention. You know, he be getting eh, he didn't he been hurt he been hurt a lot. You know, but mm -hmm. he haven't he haven't showed it. He haven't showed it. If 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 you ain't no uh, fighter, you ain't no boxer, you probably would miss it. Mm. No, but he haven't really he, he haven't really fought he haven't really fought nobody like like uh Spence. No, Spence got that pop, man. Spence ain't just a regular one forty seven pounder, you know. Mm. And and like what happened with Bruno when when, when Bruno went to one forty seven, you know, he faced Madonna with some pop, and and his career went down the drain. See 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 Crawford. See, I like Crawford, but he ain't he ain't do it that way, you know. He ain't fight no big punches yet, but to be honest, man, like 
the skills there, you know, the skills there, but you know, this boxing, you know, I mean, this boxing, and then at they level, man, I mean, Spence, man, Spence got that, he got that, he got that kill switch. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it, it'll be a good fight. Don't get me wrong. I know It'll be a great fight. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Terrence Crawford, I, I, I watch him. I watch him all the time, man. He, 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 he can, he, he can adapt quick. He can, he can, he can, he can, if you're doing this, he can do this. Yeah. You know, if you're doing that, he can do this. You know, you know, he, he can do that. So now, if he play, he play his cards right, play his chess right, man, he, he, he probably could, he, he probably could pull it off. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's 50 50, but, I know, I know how that, I know how it is. You know, I'm, I'm a fighter. You know, I've been in the ring. You know, them guys going twelve. You know, yeah. they going twelve, and you going twelve with somebody like Spence. You know, what I mean, it can, it can. Spence gonna be trying to win the whole time, right? Mm-hmm. Even if, he, even right. if he's behind the eight ball, it don't matter. He's still gonna be trying to win. Huh? Yeah, I, I love that fight, man. That's a uh, mega fight that needs to happen. It's one of those things. I'm just gonna put popcorn in the microwave and then sit and watch it. Uh, I don't. Uh, I I I have that fight a lot closer than I used to have in my mind. Uh, you know, I used to be sixty forty, but uh, but that damn Merle Spence man, he done every fucking time out. He 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 improves in my mind. He gets better yeah. and better. You know what I'm saying? And and what makes him better is because he he displays. It's it's, it's weird. He just. Like you said, uh, Bud got them adjustments right. Uh, uh, Spence got them adjustments too, bro. Like, and if you yeah. if you ain't if you ain't paying attention, man, you might miss it. Like you say, like he done showed me he can win fights in multiple ways. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, so. whereas at the beginning, I just thought he was a certain type of fighter, and I, I and you know I fully admit I was wrong about that. So. Where I had it 60 40, you know, I'm I'm more like shit. 55 45. Uh I think that's a pick 'em fight, you know. Like most pick 'em fights too, though, it's usually a decisive winner. You know, when they finally yeah. fight, somebody takes over, you know. So mm-hmm. I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen with them with them boys, man. I, I just hate to see if we don't get it, man. I want it. Yeah. I wanna I wanna give a quick shout out to uh the true boss of the Collinsworth house household. Ms. Ross, happy birthday. You celebrated your uh, 25th birthday this past week. I hope you enjoyed your day. Make sure you happy keep this birthday. guy. Make sure you keep this guy in check, please. <laughs> oh, I don't run shit by my mouth. I don't run shit by my mouth, man. I got to well, ask if I can come to the gym at night. Shit. Well, get dropped out. <laughs> That's it, man. Not real. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, so who 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 else you be uh who else you be uh keeping an eye on uh Slick? Well, I'll be watching uh I'll be watching uh Javante Davis too. You know, you a fan or you watch him? Uh, nah, I, I, I just watch him. Yeah. You know, I just watch him. I I, I think if uh he fights somebody that can box, that really, really can box, they'll get him. You know, he he just got he just he just got that one. He got that he got that. The knockout power, but he hasn't really found nobody that can really box, you know. He's got he's going he's going back and forth with a lot of fighters, huh? He was going back and forth with uh with yeah. Garcia for a while. He's going uh, he's, he's back and forth with Regis. Now like now he's going back and forth in Regis, huh? He need to leave that alone. Yeah, he needs to leave that alone. <laughs> yeah, he uh yeah, he a high head, you know, he a high head, you know. And uh I think I think Tank is a live dog with anybody at that thirty five because of that pop. Uh, mm-hmm. that, I, I certainly wouldn't favor him against certain people, but yeah, uh, you know that that when he showed, you know, my my whole thing, I knew Leo was stepping up, but I was like, Leo was gonna out fight yeah. this dude, yeah, and, he was and that's what he was doing, and time. that's what he was doing, and then boom, I said, oh yeah. shit, I said, oh, I well, said, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 that 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 pop, that pop is real deal, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I say, man, if he, if, if, like you know, it's boxing. You know, he mm-hmm. can't take shit away from him. Hey, man, yeah, he always losing, but look, but shit. You, you know why? You know why you think, G? Because he was behind the eight ball the whole time. He was mm-hmm. getting popped up. He was getting mm-hmm. beat up and, and yeah. outboxed. And he still kept plugging. He yep. still kept going forward. Yep. And he still said, fuck it. He was chunking them shots with, with, yep. with, 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 with mm-hmm. dangerous shots and clipped him. Yep. So that's a fighting man. You know what yep. I'm saying? That's a fighting man. Yep. So, yep. so. 
you got to put him a live dog with anybody because yeah. of that power. But I ain't gonna, uh, you know, ability wise, Tank is one of those uh, gifted. I think gifted mm -hmm. athletes, you know, that that leans on his athleticism a little too yeah. much. Mm -hmm. And once you get in there with a fundamental boxer, yeah. he's gonna always mm -hmm. give you problems because I don't think nobody thinks Leo Santa Cruz is fucking Roberto Duran, but. Yeah. He, he's Leo Santa Cruz, and and what he does right, he does right. Yeah. And it, and it was giving Tank problems, and that's yeah. a little bit of dude. So yeah. when he gets in there with a true lightweight, yeah, they can fight. Yeah, they can fight. Mm -hmm. It may be a problem, you know. But yeah. you know, he got that bomb in his hand, so who knows? It might he, he might can pull it out. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you got tonight, man? With uh. We got a couple of Houstonians, man. Mike Angeletti. I don't know if it's gonna be on the on the show. Yeah, I fuck uh, with uh, I, I, I fuck with Mike. You know, I, uh, his first his debut. You know, he was coming over that sparring, giving some, give, give me, give me, give me, give some smart work with me. You know, and he had pretty good, I, he had pretty good, solid dude, man. You know, he a solid dude. You know what I'm saying? Every, every since I he's from him, uh, he's been real. <clears throat> he was born in my city, man. We from the same city, man. So, oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know that till we interviewed him. And he was like, man, I was born in Morero, man, in New Orleans. I said, oh, shit, now I'm all the way in. Yeah. Now nah, I'm yeah. all the way in. So I've been rocking with him ever since. And yeah. I like his coaches, both of them. I like uh, Jeff and uh, Rudy. I mean, Rudy go way back. I said, yeah. man, I'm fucking with this kid, man. And uh, I think this is his, his second bout, right? His second, yeah. this is his second pro mm -hmm. fight. Yeah, and yeah he's second pro fight. On Showtime, man, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can catch it, even if it ain't on the show, you know. Catch it somewhere. Somebody uh, put it on. That's one thing I like about the the app shows. Yeah. The zone on all ESPN two, uh, uh, ESPN plus. They you could you could check out the preliminaries. You know they showing you the whole thing, and then you switch yeah. over or whatever to the real show. So we got Mike Angela. I don't know who he's fighting. Yeah. Then we got uh, Ammo is fighting on the zone. He's fighting a real fight, man. It'll be a tough fight. This is a real fight, man. Uh, yeah, 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 this is this this is a step up. Uh. This is a step up for that kid, and 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 uh, I was messaging with him back and forth yesterday, man, uh, giving him some words of encouragement. Uh, yeah. So we gonna see, we gonna see what happens, man. Uh, I'm to see some of these sure the kids some real fights. Huh? I'm glad to see these fighters out here taking some tough fights, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like uh, that boy Douglas. Uh, I watched him. I watched him, man. He he, listen, man. Listen, I don't know if people paying attention. David Benavidez is a fucking problem, man. For anybody. Really? I don't give a fuck. Y'all can cut, you can bring some help to the ring, and he's a problem. And Douglas went 10 rounds with that kid before he got stopped, man. 10 rounds with David Benavidez, yeah. man. Uh, I, I don't, I know he, I, he lost, he only lost to the, the biggest, George Groves. Uh, I think Charlo, Jamel, mm. uh, uh, Douglas, Douglas, uh, is, is that my fighting Douglas, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, and so, yeah, yeah. Douglas so I'm like, too, bro. yeah, man, yeah, man. Up, so dude? I'm yeah, hoping, too, you know, I'm hoping Almo don't, you know, keeps that fucking chin down, bro. Looks with his eyes instead of his face. Don't look at his work because, uh, and then he's a southpaw too. So, you know, I know Ammo's. I'm sure he's sparring with Regis, you know, getting that southpaw work, but it ain't mm -hmm. like a southpaw sees southpaws like they be seeing conventional fighters. So, you know, I, I, yeah. I'm i rooting for, I'm a, I'm a root Houston all the time. So uh, just keep your head down, man, and, and bang out with this kid, man. So we'll see what happens. Uh, then we got this uh, McCaskill Breakers. Y'all watch, watch their first fight with the two women for mm -hmm. the welterweight title? No, I know. No. Man, no, man, listen. I heard, I heard that kid is uh, something dangerous. Listen, man. I was talking to the woke the other day and got her opinion on it. I ain't gonna give y'all her opinion as 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 our business. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you like this, man. When I watched that first fight, McCaskills jumped out ahead. You know, like the first uh, five rounds. And Cecilia just kind of like started pressing. She like fucking stood down and pressed and pressed that girl. And I thought she took over the second half of that fight. And really, her being a champion, I said, man, it's probably a drunk. 
and I was rooting for the I was rooting for the American. I'm rooting for the girl from Chicago, right? And 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 then when she got the fight, I was like, okay. But I'm gonna tell y'all something. If round one is round eleven from the last fight, I don't see how uh you know I think that old breakers girl she found a groove. You know she was off and found a groove. So we gonna see what happens in this one, man. Again, I'm rooting for the I'm rooting for the American girl, man. But uh uh <laughs> if 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 breakers got in the, got a last hoorah in her, she's gonna uh I think she might get them titles back, man. Uh. And Chocolate Tio, I don't know. I, I, I really, man, everybody's so high up on him, man. He's great. He all the time great and shit, but uh, I don't get it. I don't get uh, excited about that kid for some reason, man. Uh, y'all excited about that fight? Uh, that's going to be a good night of boxing. I'm not I'm not excited about that particular fight. I, I like I like walking. I like watching uh, watching him, but, you know, he's not. He's not someone. Uh, I mean, it's it is what it is. Y'all, think, well, how many rounds you think Ellis? Y'all think Ellis gonna pull off the upset, or you think he's gonna? How many rounds you think he's gonna go? Man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Say, Ellis ain't no chump, though. He can yeah. fight. I'm saying. Yeah, he yeah, can fight, saying, man. I'm saying. I don't know. That David Benavidez, man. I I, I hear I hear Kevin. Uh, what's his name? Caleb Plant. I hear he checks under his bed at night. Whenever, uh, you know, when he says his prayers and shit, man. So that dude's bad, bro. That dude's yeah. bad. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm yeah. telling y'all, Dave is a motherfucker, man. And, and and I done seen him get hit on the button several times. And all he yeah. do is smile. Yeah. All he do is smile. What you got there, man? You know, we're going to be starting a new, uh, a new segment of the show it's called Freshest. Fun facts on uh, on Chavez, and uh, I happen to pick up this book, and I'll be sharing it with y'all. I'm not going to go too deep into it today, but you know, I just want to go back through history and uh, share some of the exciting things that, that Chavez has 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 accomplished in his career. But I want to ask you something, D. Were you were you uh, were you drinking last night or something? Were you drinking and, and posting drunk drunk posting last night or what? Man, you know I don't drink. Man. <laughs> that uh. That post of the this kid is doing Henry Armstrong shit in two thousand and twenty one. Oh, you talking about the grand check? The grand. You talking about uh, Canelo Alvarez? Yeah, bro, I had to do bro, a special, bro. bro let me, he, he, listen, he's absolutely special. But do you know that? Do you realize that Henry Armstrong was fighting twenty motherfucking fights a year back in yeah. four? Yeah. No, ain't fought twenty fights in the last ten years, bro. How 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 are you gonna say this dude is doing shit? Now I get it, right? You high up on the kid and and you want to put him as the greatest Mexican of all time. But how yeah. how, how 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 in the world do you take twenty fights a year and compare that to twenty fights in the last decade? What what am I missing? What am I missing? <clears throat> twenty fights Histori a year. Historical accuracy. Let me tell you what you're missing. Henry Armstrong was the welterweight champ of the world, middleweight champ of the world, and light, and was about to be light heavyweight champ of the world, but they robbed him all at the same time. Hmm. Never since Henry Armstrong has they been a kid dominate all these disamountable weight classes. Man, this dude been from motherfucking welterweight Junior middleweight, middleweight, super middleweight, light heavyweight champion, bro. You ain't never seen no shit like this. And I'm going to tell you something. Gabe, how tall are you? I'm 5'10". You 5'10"? Yeah. Canelo Alvarez is, is Canelo Alvarez is five foot seven. Now, I know they trying to make him an inch taller every time he fight to make it look <laughs> more compatible. When he fought, when he fought uh, Smith, they made Smith an inch shorter on the on the fly, and, mm -hmm. and Canelo five nine. They made Smith six four and Canelo five mm -hmm. nine. But really, <laughs> it's six five versus five seven, right? You yeah. have never seen this guy do. You never seen this in boxing, including my hero, uh, Tommy Hearns, who, who won in five weight division. You've never seen this guy. You never seen a welterweight 
dominate all the way to light heavy. So, so slick. Since, I hate, we, since, we, since, we, since Hammer and Hank Henry Armstrong, look. We hate to bring you into our domestic problems that we have here, but we're gonna, <laughs> since, since he brought you in, he keeps using the word dominate, right? That he said it about four or five times. Dominate. Dominate. Dominate is fighting 20 times a year and whooping the shit out of anybody fighting two times a month. Fighting two times a year ain't dominating. Canelo been fighting two times a year since 2010, bro. Two times. You know, you understand if you understand what inflation is. You a money man. You understand what inflation is. Henry Armstrong was fighting twenty times because they was paying him ten grand. That's uh, Canelo Alvarez getting thirty million, thirty five million. Go ahead, business. Hey, it's just different times, man. I mean, hey, yeah. you think Canelo Alvarez? Won't do his role work and get ready to fight for 30 million 20 times a year. You, you fucking right, he would, but can't nobody pay him 30 million right. uh, uh, every fucking five minutes. But go ahead. Well, no, we need we, we, we need uh, we need to figure that shit out. We need to give him the money. It's figured out. If he, if he, you if need to accept the greatest, truth. If he, it's figured out. You need to accept no, 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 the no, truth. No, no, no. Slick, slick. You yeah. ever watch a movie with somebody that doesn't watch the movie already? Yeah. The motherfucker just can't stop talking about that. Look, he gonna do this. Yeah, 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 gonna... yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what them Canelo fans be like. Man, let us watch the movie, bro. We don't look. You ever see? You see? You see Canelo when when he done fighting and he do this and he telling yeah. the crowd do this. Who we think he talking to? The haters or his his supporters? He's talking to his supporters. He said, "Man, let me do my thing. Don't ruin it for everyone." Canelo, oh, we just lying now. We just gonna lie now. <laughs> let me make some shit up there. Canelo, let me make some shit up. Canelo understands. <laughs> let me do my thing. Let us enjoy the show, man. Let me watch the goddamn movie, man. I want to enjoy Canelo do his thing, and 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 if he is the greatest of all time, ain't nobody gonna be able to deny it. Let him do his thing, you know. You keep bringing up the greatest all-time Mexican. He denying it now, ain't he? He denying it now, old uh, OG. He, he, he denying it now. He, he keep bringing up the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. You know, it's amazing, and I brought this up earlier, the greatest Mexican of all time, boxer of all time, is still fighting. He's fighting next, what is it, June, I said, June 2nd, against Hector Macho Camacho Jr. 30-something years after, his, uh, after one of his greatest fights of all time, he's still fucking fighting. I've, I've said it before. I'll say it again. The true measure of greatness, and this is absolutely true in anything, and you're going to have to agree with this whether you like it or not. The, tr the greatest measure of greatness is time. Time will tell. And so Canelo still has a lot of time ahead of him. A lot of time. And I want nothing but success for him. I, I truly love or I truly enjoy watching Canelo. But I don't know, man. When I think about the Fantastic Four or the Fab Four or okay. the uh, the Herms and okay. Herms and Durant and uh, and uh, never mind, never mind. Sugar Ray Leonard and uh, and Hagler, I love to see that yeah. tournament. Truth, truth is often uncomfortable and too hard to swallow. <laughs> it is what it is, man. I'm trying not to call racism because I understand Canelo <laughs> looks like he's Irish. And, and and white folks, we some of the most hated motherfuckers in the world, man. So it it, it gets stuck in y'all crawl, man. When that I, when that white Mexican I, be kicking I, ass, man. I think that's what that it is. shit just balls y'all, man. And I ain't mad at you. You guys want to adopt him because of the, you know, he's, he's got the oh, uh, I take hair. I yeah. take it. Yeah, I take greatness. <laughs> I take greatness, man. I, I hey, I tell you what, I'm starting to call him. I'm starting to call him Fury. I'm starting to call him Canelo Barrigan, which is his real last name. I'm about to change it and put four leaf clovers on all the pictures, and we're going to make it like that. Uh, what you say about uh, you Fury? Know, I said, we'll trade Canelo for Fury. We'll, take, we'll, we'll, we'll make that trade. Man, I'm not giving up Fury. You're out your fucking mind, man. Listen, man. That, that, that I, Irish Gypsy, man, that's a – hey. That's a horse of a different color, man. And yeah, and I mean, now I mean, that's a guy. So that's a guy that hopefully, because we know his demons and shit. You know, he got the Irish curse. You know, he like to get two sheets in the wind sometimes. But here's the thing: 
That's how God keeps us in check. See, people didn't understand that. If he didn't make us if he didn't make us drink, cause we'd take over the fucking world, man. Mm. So they got they keep they keep fury in check with that drink. And now hopefully, hopefully he don't fall off the rails because I think he's in a position that only time and 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 opponents, right, will actually give him his right right place that I think he may deserve in history. But we gotta see him fight, right? You gotta continue to see him fight. And him going off the rails like he did after he beat Klitschko. You know, nothing's guaranteed. You can't, you know, I see shit all the time, especially especially with the English. They steady saying, well, Fury beat Ali and well, Fury beat this one. And Fury, man, you can't, it's far, far too soon for that shit, man. But, but I would like to see him keep competing. I would like to see him uh, stay healthy. And I would like, and, and just to see a big man like that move, you know, uh, is is amazing to watch, man. Because this guy ain't no this, you know. Lennox, once Lennox came to America and learned how to fight, you know, to watch that six five, two hundred forty pound guy go backwards, go sideways, go forward. You know, when you seeing a guy, a seven foot motherfucker, mm. six foot nine, two hundred sixty pounds, do that, right? Like you like, oh shit, yeah. You damn near got to say it. he's a problem for anybody, right? But you got to see, you got to see him. Uh, we got to see. How you stay up, man? Man, we need uh, man, we need this shit to open back up, man. We, we there's a lot of fights out there that the world wants to see. Uh, the heavyweight division is fucking stacked. We got man, it's just unbelievable. All, all the way down, all the all the way down. So hopefully, yeah. uh, hopefully this year it's gonna be great for boxing. Uh, we got great fights coming up. Our boy here, uh, Gabriel Slick Smith, is gonna be fighting uh, again April second, right? In uh, yes, sir, in Indianapolis. In Indianapolis. Let us know what the link is. That way we can share it and uh, you know people can purchase it if, the, if, if that's available. But if not, man, we know you're going to go in there. You're going to represent. You're going to give them the good old fashioned H-Town uh, ass kicking and and, yes, uh, and, and and get back on the, on, on, on the road of, uh, of uh, greatness. Uh, we got we have uh, Canelo fighting uh, May 8th as well against uh, Billy Joe Saunders. That's going to be a great fight. Uh, it's going to be I think it's going to be. I think it's gonna be a live fight. I think Sanders is uh is gonna be great competition for him. I still of course I'm gonna pick I'm gonna ride with Canelo. So uh, you know, we'll see how that turns out. Uh and then tonight we already mentioned all the fights that are gonna be on Showbox and then the other apps. Uh what else am I what else am I missing, man? Let me before we, before we let Gay go, man, let's get on this uh Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a couple names, man. You tell me if they're overrated, underrated, or spot on, bro. Uh, you ready? Uh, you ready? Yes, sir. We go. I'm gonna stop. You know what? You a lightweight, right? 135 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Let's start off with George. Uh, I used Linares. Linares. Am I saying it right? Linares. He's fighting uh Haney, right? Oh, Joe, you know what I'm talking about? The one that's fighting, the one that's fighting Devin Haney next. Yes. Will you call him underrated, overrated, or spot on? Uh, uh, spot on. How about how about? I think this guy is coming under the radar personally. Uh. George Cambosis Jr., the guy who got Teal next, mm. Australian. He just he won his eliminator against uh, Selby in England on the zone, and so he's got he's got uh, Teal's next. He's got the number one contender. Show. Have you watched him? Oh, I, I think I know you talking about, but nah, I ain't watching. I ain't, I ain't watching. I know you talking about. He's fighting Leo. He's fighting Pete. I, I seen I seen the poster. Him fighting yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. I, I, I think I, I think. I think I think he's far underrated, man. I've been watching that kid since that DAZN fight, and uh, yeah. I, I, I think people ain't giving him his just due, man. That kid can fight, man. Yeah. Uh, Richard Coleman. Richard, Richard, who was that? Who was Richard Coleman? That's the one that told me uh, that that Teal knocked out around, but mm-hmm. then he just knocked out. Who Coleman just knocked out? He just knocked somebody out in his comeback fight. The African dude, man. 
Y'all know that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all think somebody that wants a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I think he underrated. Me too. I'm right there with you, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he I'm underrated. right there with you. Uh, two more, man. Devin Hayne, where you got it? Man, I think he overrated. <laughs> you and me both. Uh, uh. And last but not least, a uh, fresh guy, uh, Lomachenko, oh. man. Lomachenko, man. What you think about Lomachenko? Lomachenko, man, it's kind of because his last performance is, you know, you know, so. Yeah, he's Luma Chico. Yeah, Luma Chico, and he uh, he's spot on. He's spot on. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Them uh, them angles. If he had them angles, he'd be a different fighter. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Them angles. Them angles make all his fights. You know what I mean? Yeah. Them angles he, uh... make all his fights. You take them angles away, you know. I I, I wonder what he'll have, but but shit, he 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 got him so. He's a little bit. Yeah. He's a little bit of guy, man. And and boxing has divisions for a reason. So when yeah, uh, when when a guy outsizes himself, sometimes you know he yeah. comes down to just fighting. And you can't flat yeah. out fight with a guy. You need yeah. to go back to where yeah. you belong, man. So I, yeah. I, I'm not I'm not willing to say Lomachenko is overrated. Uh, yeah. Just because just because he had a big splash, you know, and they was promoting yeah. him. I mean, it ain't his fault. They had something to promote, right? Mm-hmm. But but uh, I say he's spot on. He's still a skilled. Yeah, he's still on. a skilled yeah. fighter. Yeah. He's still the. You know, he let me down when he went full. When he went full windmill wilder <laughs> with the excuses and shit <laughs> after uh after Tio got in that ass. Oh yeah, Tio got his ass. Yeah, somebody showed. Yeah, that's that that to me that's a character flaw, like man. So yeah. I I but, uh, I've been Lomo's my guy. I've been big on Lomo since the get from before anyone else even. Before he was on the radar, he took a fight. I mean, he took a fight. It was a it was a live fight, and unfortunately for Lomo, Theo was the better fighter that night, uh, and and he won. Zero excuses. And I'm still gonna ride with him. I think uh, I think I, I he made excuses. excuses. Zero excuses for no, you. For me. For me. Excuses. No, I'm talking yeah, about for yeah, me. Yeah. As far I mean, I'm not gonna bail yeah. on him. Now I think I posted this in our group. I think. I think I think a great a great path for for Lomo is fighting Haney, fighting Garcia, and fighting uh, 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 Tank, running the board on them three, and then uh, getting that rematch with 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 Lomo. I think it'd be great marketing, great uh, a great uh, a great fight, and I, I I still think it'd be a 50-50 fight. You know, at, at that point, the the biggest factor that Lomo has against him is age. No, 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 about 30, 34, 33, some, some shit, you know. So, man, to be honest, I think a Luma fight, uh, uh, Leo again gonna be the same thing, man, because probably, because Leo, probably. Leo, it wasn't no, it wasn't no neck and neck, man, with that. No, you know? no, no, he had the answer for Lomo. Yeah, he had, he, he had, he had the, he, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he ain't gonna but, be no neck and neck. But as far as, as far as what his path is, you know, I, that, that would be, that would be, that would be my, as a fan, I, think I, would, I would love to see that. Now, his pants should be 130 pounds. That's what his yeah. pants should be, man. Because I think, mm-hmm. I think even if he outboxes guys, right? Like you got to give Loma his props because when he got behind, he took too long to start. But when he got mm-hmm. so far behind with Tio, he absolutely bit down and went far. You know what I'm saying? He said, "Fuck, I got to try to win," and and he deserves all the respect in the world for that. And 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 I think. With with all those guys at thirty five that walk around one hundred forty something pounds, hundred forty five pounds, he's gonna have that problem. It's gonna be that size problem. He's gonna have to bear down, bite down, and, and go forward. And a guy like like say a Tank Davis, who you said you know got that crack in his fucking right hand, you know he liable to hit you with it high on the head, on the jaw, wherever. Yeah. You know, and, and I just think Loma's kind of outside. So so when it's skip so. So what I'm saying is, Fresh, if his age is starting to creep in just a little bit, if his age is starting to creep in and he don't got that half a second to step around, that's uh-huh. dangerous. The very where he's at now. Yeah. So that was that was his that was his whole thing. Right. You right. lose that. You you lose that. Like Gabriel said, now he's now he's a different fighter. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Last one, Gabe. Let, let me add this one because I had to add the uh, the women every time. Sinisa and Strider, man. Underrated, overrated, or spot on? Who? who? Sinisa and Strider. That young girl, uh, the one who gave Marlene her first loss. Oh, uh, I think she, uh, I think she, uh, oh, okay, Marlene, Marlene. Uh, shit, I think she, uh, spot on to me. She's bad, bro. I think I think she might be a little bit underrated. Yeah, yeah, she's uh I think she might yeah, be she's underrated. definitely not overrated. She's no. definitely yeah, not yeah, overrated. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, got abilities, yeah, man. Yeah. No. yeah. So if she's underrated, what do you think what do you think the problem might be? You think it might be management? You might think they're not pushing her correctly? So these, yeah. you know, it's yeah. kinda hard. It's kinda hard to say in this time yeah. right now because she's from, she from Cali though, man. You know, Cali, Yeah, but nobody yeah. wants to gamble on the girls. Out the gate, and then and then number two, you know, the, with the limited show limited shows, every big promotion owes owes their fighters fights, and so they running out of fucking room, you know. Now, mm-hmm. do I think that La Jolla and them should be putting Tanisha and Marlene on everything? Yes, mm-hmm. yes, I think they should be on everything because it ain't like Golden Boy. If I think about it, it ain't like they got the deepest roster in the world. Man. Who they got? They got Ryan. <laughs> They got uh, Ortiz, Ortiz. Uh, yeah. nah, Shanisa, Molin, quick. <laughs> and that uh, that fucking uh, bladder hair cops. They got him. They got but him. Who else we got? I think that's that's who we fought him on on Golden Boy. So maybe he just got a relationship with him. But yeah. but uh, you know, Sinisa could man. Sinisa's got the ability, man. They need to put her out there, man. Uh, but Chad yeah, G. It was good having you on this thing, man. So when yeah, for uh, for sure, man, for sure. Thank you. When you got something else coming up and shit, we gonna post, man. And if if you do get links to the fights, man, shoot it to me so we can, you know, we got everybody watching it and shit, man. All right, that's a bet. That's a bet. I got y'all once again. I said, man, thanks for having me on the show. You know what I'm saying? Nice to meet y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's Absolutely, nice up, man. I'm gonna hit y'all. All right, and when you Absolutely. see us, when when you see us at the show, man, don't be don't be afraid to come and talk to us, man. I know we superstars oh, okay. and shit, you know. Oh, nah, hell People nah, be knowing nah, us man. now. Nah. Uh, <laughs> I'm a be hey, I'm a be the I'm a be the six one two hundred and sixty pound white guy, and he's gonna be the guy with the Julio Caesar Chavez fan club shirt on. That's who he's gonna be. Well, right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have the book with me. <laughs> all right, uh, YouTube, Facebook. We again, once again, we appreciate all the support and love. Man, continue to uh, to tune in, like, uh, hit that like button, that subscribe button. Uh, I know we shared it earlier this week, man, but we finally reached the well, not finally, we there was uh, we reached a thousand subscribers on on YouTube. Uh, we had made the goal for the end of the year. We seen we were making some progress, and then we moved it up to June, and uh, here we are in, in March. We've nailed it. So our next uh, our next goal or our next uh, level will be 4,000 subscribers. Help us get there. We appreciate the love. Again, keep a lookout for these new segments we're going to be doing on the show. And then also, Coach and I are going to be doing a new uh, a new thing as well. We're going to be doing uh, six-round fights throughout. Uh, we're going to do a six-round fight throughout the week. Each, each day, we're going to try and jump on, get in, talk some bullshit for three minutes, and uh, we'll see who wins at the end of the week. I think that's a great idea. I think, I think that just, uh, I think that just, uh, that just struck me, right? We'll do, we'll do six round fights. We'll do a round a day. And then at the end of the week, uh, you know, we'll, you'll, you'll share with everyone how you feel, you know, losing to, uh, mm. like great debates. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's your, it's your boy Fresh along with uh Coach D. And my man Gabriel Slick Smith, man. Uh yes, sir. I, I don't believe in luck, man. So make sure you do the work, man, and go ahead and perform. You know, yes, sir. That's, that's, yes, sir. That's your that you know, you do all the work so you get to perform in front of people, man. So yes, uh sir. go on and do your thing, brother. We're giving you some well wishes. All right, all right. appreciate it. That's right. Later. All right. Later. Later.